What's up, YouTube? Jeffy Style OG. And on today's video, I've got my picks for the five most underrated shoe styles. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends, like Moses Moore, salute. Now today's video is actually the result of a question I got in the comment section that went a little bit like this. Jeff, when it comes to shoes, I have the basics covered. Got my Chelsea boots, my wingtips, my loafers. What are some shoe styles that might be flying under the radar that I can try to add into my shoe rotation? I thought that was an excellent question, and thus we have today's video. In today's video, I got five of the most underrated shoe styles in my opinion. I got shoes, sneakers, and boots. So without any further delay, let's hop right into it and get into my picks for the five most underrated shoe styles. First up, we have what I think is one of the most underrated boot styles. It's sleek, it's elegant, it's classy. I'm talking about the Jodhpur boot. Now I like to call the Jodhpur a Chelsea boot with some extra details. Those extra details come from its equestrian roots. As you can see, it has a sleek silhouette, but it also has a strap and a buckle for a little bit of interesting detail. I absolutely love this boot. And of course, since it's shaped like a Chelsea boot, you can wear it with whatever you would wear Chelsea boots with. From a suit, trousers, chinos, jeans, you name it, it's a versatile, classic look. To me, if you add this boot in your rotation, you'll have a great look that stands out a little bit more from the average guy. In fact, I think this style is so great, I've got an upcoming lookbook probably in the next couple of weeks showing you how to style it. But hands down to me, one of the most underrated shoes, especially in the boot category, the Jodhpur. Now for our next pick, we're headed over to the sneaker department. And we're gonna talk about one of my favorite sneakers that I've kind of been highlighting a lot over the last year. I'm talking about the German Army Trainer. Now the roots of the German Army Trainer are right in its name. It was a shoe that was commissioned by the German Army back in the 1970s. They wanted something comfortable, well-made, and simple. And that's what you got here. However, although this is a simple shoe, I think the small details make it a winner. I love the combination of the leather with the suede hits. And if you know anything about me, I'm a sucker for a gum sole. Another great thing about the German Army Trainer, it's gonna be timeless and classic because it has no brandy just the suede and the leather hits. In fact, I made a whole lookbook video showing you how you can rock the German Army Trainer. I'll leave the link in the description for your viewing pleasure. But if you love a nice minimal sneaker, but you want a little bit more detailing, don't hesitate to grab a pair of German Army Trainer. Now, next up on our list of the most underrated shoes, I have a simple, yet one of the most elegant dress shoes you can grab. I'm talking about the whole cut Oxford. I absolutely love the whole cut. Like I said, it's one of the most elegant shoes you can wear. And most of the time, it's gonna be one of the most high quality shoes you can buy. That's because it's made from a single piece of leather. To make a shoe from a single piece of leather, you're gonna need a higher quality of leather. Thus the high quality and most whole cut shoes. But another great thing about the whole cut, you can dress it up and dress it down. Because of its simple, elegant lines, it looks great with the suit, all the way down to smart casual. Yes, I would even rock this one with a blazer and jeans. But if you want a simple, classic, elegant dress shoe that you might not have in your rotation yet, grab yourself a pair or two of whole cut Oxfords. Next up on our list of underrated shoes, we're going back to the boot section. And the boot I'm constantly pushing on you guys since I started this channel. You need to add a pair or two of dress boots to your rotation. Great thing about dress boots, they come in every style that your typical dress shoe comes in, but it's a boot. Whether we're talking about a wingtip, whether we're talking about a cap toe, whether we're talking about an Oxford, you can get a dress boot in that style. Which to me leads to a dressiness, but still ruggedness. The dressiness of a dress shoe and the ruggedness of a boot. And a bonus for it is when it's the winter time, you have inclement weather, wearing a boot can push your trousers up making your pants less likely to get damaged by snow or rain. And like I mentioned earlier, it's super versatile. Any type of dresser you can think of, there's a dress boot counterpart. So if you're tired of the Chelsea's and the Chuckers, give dress boots a try. And last but certainly not least, on my list of the five most underrated shoe styles, 
with putting the boots away and going to an underrated warm weather shoe. I'm talking about the driving shoe. Now to me, the driving shoe is one of the greatest combinations of a relaxed but elegant look. I love driving shoes because they're simple, they're sleek, they're a slip on, they're extra, extra comfortable. And to me, they're a combination of a dapper look and a laid back look. You can dress them up with a blazer, maybe some linen pants, or dress them down with some chinos or some jeans. And did I forget to mention, they're super comfortable. So if you're looking to add some variety to your warm weather or summer shoe rotation, maybe put the loafers and the sneakers away, grab yourself a pair or two of driving shoes. Okay, so there you have it. My picks for the five most underrated shoe styles. Let me know in the comment section if you have an underrated R shoe that I didn't mention today. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. Helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, and I'll check you out tomorrow.